Welcome back to my channel. It's Marsha with Marsha's Mind. What is on my mind today? Butterflies, miracles, yeah. Stay tuned. Back to my channel if you're new welcome and if you're not welcome back I uh, make videos on law of attraction uh, synchronicity crystals personal development positive things make a better version of yourself and all that kind of jazz if you're interested consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification and thumbs up if you like this kind of video today's video is I wanted to share with this story with you it's so touching it's an email I received a guy named Robert and he and his wife, Holly, I think her name is, uh, went on, they were going on a dolphin uh, whale, you know, seascape adventure. His wife was checking out of the hotel. She was in line to check out of the hotel to go. Before all this happened, Robert's mother had passed away. She told him that she would like to come back as a butterfly. And since his, her death, he has seen butterflies everywhere. His life has been filled with butterflies. So one morning they were checking out of the hotel, the wife was in line to check out, and this lady cut in front of her, in line. And she's like, was just about to tap the lady's shoulder when she saw a tattoo butterfly and the name Robert. I kid you not, she saw a butterfly and the name Robert, that's his name. She texts him and says, your mom is showing up now, <laughs> and I'll show you the picture. So the point of the story was he wanted to say that he believes that we all have a spiritual family and helpers that we can call upon who can give us guidance and inspiration. He says they often work in creative and imaginative ways to get our attention. He was just saying that how he thinks people should be more open, open to this guidance, which I'm all about. He also mentioned a person named Joseph Campbell. He's a mythologist. Mythologist. He was saying be, op be more open to guidance or these unseen hands or spiritual aid. <laughs> and I kid you not, I do this all the time. I call upon my loved ones that have passed away to watch over the dogs when I'm gone, to watch over the, per the perimeter of the property or the outside or whatever. And I ask loved ones to watch over Maddie, over Rod, over myself. I ask them to do this because we are free agents. We have to give permission or ask for help. And otherwise we'd be robots, you know? We have free will, we are free agents, but we can call upon our spiritual family or aides or angels, because ultimately we're one energy, we're a part of each other, but we have to allow that to happen, be open, be open-minded, ask for it, and give permission for it. So I just wanted to share that story with you. It's very inspiring and it's something I'm totally, totally, it just right up my alley. <laughs> so I just wanted to share that with you guys. So have a great day and namaste.